Many people do not like insects, and no wonder, because these small creatures annoy us when they flicker before our eyes, try to crawl into our ears and noses, and bite us unpleasantly. But believe me, the insects you've encountered aren't even close to the monsters from this episode. From the deadliest caterpillar on the planet to the nastiest parasitic flies and the world's top killer bug. In this episode, I'll show you these and many other of the most dangerous and creepiest insects you should never mess with. Let's go! Fluffy Caterpillar Seeing this fluffy caterpillar, many may think it's just a wisp of hair because its back is densely covered with long, hair-like bristles. In the early stage of the caterpillar development, these bristles are strongly curly, which gives its hair a very fluffy appearance. The caterpillar itself looks very beautiful and unusual. It makes you want to take it in your hand or stroke it, but you definitely should not do that. Behind this beauty lies a real horror. The bristles easily break, cut into the skin, and remain in it. This in itself is unpleasant but the bristles are also venomous. Contact with the fluffy caterpillar causes a range of unpleasant symptoms, from throbbing pain <laughs> radiating to the armpit okay? to nausea and difficulty breathing. In some cases, even lymph nodes are affected. Such a little furry little thing, but how much trouble it causes. However, this caterpillar, which lives in tropical forests, orchards, and village gardens in some Latin American countries, is much more dangerous. It's a Linomia, or the giant silkworm moth, and it's often called the most dangerous caterpillar on the planet, and one of the most dangerous insects in the world in general. Like the fluffy caterpillar, Linomia is covered with venomous spines. These are full-fledged spines which are equipped with very powerful venom. The spines easily pierce human skin. After such contact, a toxin enters the blood, reducing its clotting ability. After a short time, the person develops internal bleeding, which can be fatal. This caterpillar is well camouflaged. It's difficult to spot in the foliage or on the bark of trees, so be vigilant if you find yourself in South America. The venom of this insect kills many people there each year. Okay, the fact that these caterpillars are dangerous is really surprising. You certainly wouldn't think of them. But what insect do we immediately think of when we think of the creepiest and most dangerous bugs? Personally, the image of the hornet pops into my head. These buzzing creatures are very dangerous in general, but the Asian giant hornet is even more dangerous. Vespa mandarinia is what they call it. This is the most dangerous and largest hornet on the planet. Its length can exceed 5 centimeters. That's about three times more than its common congeners. The sting of this monster is also impressive. It extends more than half a centimeter. As you can imagine, such a sting would easily enter any human being. In this case, the victim will experience severe pain, but this won't be enough for the Asian monster. It will continue to sting again and again, because its sting doesn't break. When it's finished, it'll fly away, and the victim will be left to heal their wounds. At best, the victim will be in pain, and at worst, the Asian hornet attack will be fatal for the victim, and the victim will die due to severe allergies. But that's not even the worst part. The scariest thing about these hornets is that they can arrange entire invasions. In 2013, they literally took over a province in China, killing quite a few locals and causing a lot of trouble for the entire province. Police and firefighters had to burn them out with flamethrowers. There's no other way to get rid of them. For all that, even Vespa mandarinia are not as reckless as the Africanized bee, the next insect in this episode. These bees can safely be called some of the most violent creatures on the planet. They're not natural creatures. In fact, they're hybrids of different species of bees bred in Brazil. Actually, scientists wanted to breed the perfect bee, and they succeeded. But then someone made a mistake. The bees flew out of the lab and ended up in the wild, and keeping with the best traditions of horror movies. In the wild, Africanized bees began to interbreed with other bees and after a few generations became real monsters. They changed, grew stronger, became more ferocious, and began to take over continents. First they invaded the South, then they flew higher and higher and soon they found themselves in the United States where there's a real threat of their invasion. 
The sting of these bees is very painful and potentially deadly. But worst of all, they are extremely aggressive. Africanized bees often attack people and animals for no reason. And if a person found themselves even five meters from the hive of these monsters, they'll have to run as fast as they can because these buzzing monsters will perceive them as the worst enemy and will chase them for several hundred meters. Amazingly, even with the presence of such bees, there are other insects in the world that kill many more people each year. In doing so, they don't even have to be aggressive. Stay tuned to learn more about these insects, as well as to see the most nightmarish flies on the planet, and find out what bed bugs are really dangerous for. Spotted Flesh Fly I don't think anybody likes common flies. They're always flying and buzzing and hard to swat and so on. But we have to deal with them anyway. We can only hope that we don't have to deal with these spotted flesh flies. These insects are common in southern Europe and Russia, northern Africa and China. They belong to the flesh flies family, which is characterized by reproduction in the bodies of animals. It's this characteristic that poses a threat to pets and humans, as the spotted flesh fly can deposit its larva into their wounds, cuts, or mucous membranes. The larva will then begin to eat living tissue and muscle from the inside. As they move inside the body, they cause pain and swelling, and festering appear where they've settled. It's horrible. What about bugs? They're certainly better than flies. But not all bugs are cute and harmless. The blister beetle, for example, is a real monster. It's often called the most dangerous insect in Russia. The blister beetle is a large insect about the size of a phalanx of an index finger. It's widespread in the Caucasus, Krasnodar Krai, and southwestern Siberia. Blister beetles inhabit steppe areas, but they can also be found in deserts and semi-deserts. Their contact with humans is not very close, but still, the beetle can fall on a person from a tree or collide with them in flight. The beetle has the poison cantharidin in its blood. In a state of stress, the blister beetle secretes a small amount of cantharidin. The poison is able to damage the skin. A watery, blister-like burn is formed at the place of contact. Most often, the hands, neck, face are affected. If there are wounds or scratches on the skin, the burns will be stronger and the consequences will be worse. If cantharidin enters the human body, intoxication can develop. Within the first 10 minutes of contact, the lips, mouth, and pharynx begin to burn. Sores may form in the mouth and the tongue may swell. This is compounded by abdominal pain and nausea. No wonder that this monster was used in ancient times as a poison. I wouldn't want to have to deal with such a bug. If the blister beetle is called the most dangerous insect in Russia, then this insect is the most dangerous in the world. This is a real killer bug. But what does this have to do with the mosquito? We all encounter mosquitoes in the summer and we're still alive, aren't we? That's right, but I'm talking about the malarial mosquito. Even though it's non-aggressive and small, it's statistically the most deadly insect on the planet. Moreover, it's the most deadly animal in the world. Even sharks, hippos, lions, and snakes kill hundreds or thousands of times less people every year. The malarial mosquito spreads malaria, as the name implies. The bite may not even be noticed, but a person will already be a carrier of the dangerous disease. Considering that malarial mosquitoes live mostly in African countries, where the level of medicine is not so high, the percentage of deaths from bites of these bugs is frightening. 100,000 deaths in Africa alone and more than 200 million cases of infection worldwide every year. No wonder scientists around the world want to develop a unique vaccine against malaria, as much as they want a vaccine against HIV or the perfect cure for cancer. Fortunately, there is already progress. In October 2021, the WHO approved the widespread use of the first malaria vaccine. Tsetse fly And here's another menace of Africa. The tsetse fly, while not as deadly as the malarial mosquito, is extremely dangerous. While malarial mosquitoes carry malarial plasmodia, the tsetse fly carries trypanosomiasis, an animal and human disease. Sleeping sickness is one of the key and most dangerous consequences of the tsetse fly bite. Fever and aching joints gradually give way to confusion and then death. This is how the disease works if left untreated. You should stay away from tsetse flies, but this isn't always possible. 
These monsters are no less aggressive than Africanized bees. They often pounce and bite for no particular reason, perceiving any moving warm object as an enemy and a threat. Kissing Bugs Cute name for these bugs, isn't it? But they're not the ones you want to kiss. But these bugs love to kiss, and they kiss properly, on the lips. If you think that everything will be limited to a sweet or slightly unpleasant kiss, then you're mistaken, because otherwise these bugs would not be in this episode. When bitten, which is similar to a kiss, these bed bugs transmit a number of dangerous parasites to humans, causing Chagas disease, fever, headache, and weakness. All these symptoms mean that the kiss was successful. As in the case of sleeping sickness, this disease must be treated immediately, otherwise it can progress to the chronic stage, at which point the victim may pass away. These tiny bugs kill thousands of people every year, which makes kissing bugs incredibly effective killers. They live in tropical regions of Central and South America, so keep that in mind if you're in those parts. That's it, guys. Which insect are you most afraid of? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.